for joining us today in our virtual seminar on great power competition and the COVID-19 pandemic. Welcome everyone to reinforce what Chris Pirelli said, how essential you are to our ability to continue to deliver content, to continue to fulfill the Marshall Center mission. We have realized that we were no longer in the post-Cold War era, that we were now re-entering great power competition, confronting two countries Russia and China that are aligned in entering a critical phase of great power competition. I believe that the next five years will be critical and the upcoming decades will decide uh, whether or not we are able to learn from this experience. So we'll be looking at how Russia, China, the EU, the US are managing this crisis. 31 of us participating in this platform from more than 16 different countries. So this is great. We call this the Global Alliance for Sovereignty and Diversity that Russia was uh, against unifications, against hegemony, and against uh, politics. East Central Europe, which of course is short of great powers, but very much exposed to the influence of various great powers. I would definitely say that we have a problem now in Italy with China. Even in the Western Balkans is uh, probably dire than in the rest of Europe. In Georgia, we have like a very biggest American just about and United States uh, biggest assistance. The amount of fake news that we are uh, dealing with. Chinese use of direct um, messaging to the American people with this disinformation. I see it likely that the supply chains globally would, would change after the crisis, whenever it will end. I guess there is a concern in China uh, that a massive move uh, of Western assets uh, and manufacturing out of China. That actually they structures and glue what holds us together. I really appreciate the decision of the European Commission uh, about this uh, macro financial stability package. Uh, contributions from uh, great powers, uh, US, China, the European Union. So from the regional perspective, do you see opportunities coming out from this crisis? In time of crisis, there are risks, threats, but on the same time, there are opportunities to be taken. Exactly the opportunity to dominate and to own the narrative. Uh, propaganda campaigns, it's actually even more than propaganda campaigns. Information is now one of the key domains that we talk about when we look at the multi-domain conflict. The trend will be towards reshoring and, and creating regionalized, diversified supply chains. To our alumni, thank you for being here.